Hello world, my name is Jebediah, and welcome to episode 15 of Super Mario 64. Last time, we defeated the clock. This time, we're going to, to defeat the sky itself. If I can get up there. It's hard to get to the sky. And this is the wrong, the wrong, the wrong sky hole. This is the one I want. Our final secret star. Flying around the sky for red coins. Pretty good level if you don't fall off. You got caps, flying caps everywhere. A cannon, multiple cannons actually. So we got three coins. Where do I want to go? I'll just head that way. To the other cannon. We'll start at we'll start at the highest cloud, which is one over there. Yeah, that's good. Two coins up here. Now time to get another hat, and I want to head that away. And that storm cloud. Coin number six. I want to head to this cloud. Get that. Let me refresh my cap and head that way. <laughs> it's hard to get the caps when you can't see the shadows. But there we go. Last coin. All right, it's in the middle. You, you really spun around that pole, Mario. Right, let's get in this cannon. Does this shoot high enough? I don't think so. Let me just head to that cannon again. Make sure to definitely not bonk on the side of it. And... Head to the star. Is that good aim? Yeah. Yeah, that's good aim. Ouch, it, it threw Mario's face right into the wall. But now I want to go in that one. That might work if I knew how to do that well if I knew how to do that well enough. But now we're into the final course. Rainbow Ride. And we've gotta get on the cruiser crossing the rainbow. I hope you like magic carpets. That's what this level is is all about. Magic carpets that disappear if you, st if you stand off of them too long. Which, of course, you have to to avoid that fire, but not so bad. Yahoo! 
I also hope you like slide music. Because the, the end of this game is full of it for some reason. Tick tock clock. Now rainbow ride. I can't even remember what music. Well, I, as, I can't even remember what music the last level had because most of the time it's flying camp music. So, we've got a fork in the road. Fork in the rainbow road, I guess, but we, we want to go this way. And, I, I guess watch out for that blue fire. It might be able to touch you. I've never been, at least I can't remember ever being. But some precise backflips. Get over these poles real good. And we've also got some floating blocks in the way. There we go, that works. First time I've tried that. But here's the cruiser. And we've seen plenty of rainbows. And here's the star. Here we go. Back in we go. The big house in the sky. Now there is a quick shortcut you can take. You can long jump all the way to this pole over here. Climb up it to skip the first ink car uh, carpet ride. There's headbutt Lakitu. I hope that's not one of the other Lakitu bros that's helping film us. Or a brother of the one filming us, however you want to put it. But now we got to get back to that fork in the road. Well, here we are, back at the fork. So now we want to go right. <laughs> the rainbow is disappearing for a second. Do some last minute backflips. There's the big house. You can tell it's a house because it has a fireplace. But now we're just going to wait till we go inside of it. We got such high energy music for waiting. Definitely don't want to get burned at this spot. Now up we go. Avoid getting electrocuted. Good for us. Now we gotta make another path. Another pass through the house. Work a backflip over the fire. Whoever owns this house really has to look into that fireplace. I don't think it's supposed to do that. And there we go. Star number two. Finally. Now, we got coins amassed in a maze. And we're also going to do the hundred coins. One of the more 
I don't know, technical. There are there are plenty of coins in the level. It's just that this level is so spread out that they're annoying to get. But I've got a route that, if I remember, gets you enough coins pretty quick. You don't have to visit most of the, like half the level. Come here, Lakitu. And all the coins you can give me. Made it that time. Get all these coins. And now I want to head down this shortcut that we made earlier. Gotcha. I've got this kind of obstacle course over here. And these platforms that fall when you, when you stand on them. You're gonna come back, right? guess not. We don't need it anyway. All right, there's Goomba over here. Get his attention. Let's see, I think there's... Yeah, no more coins over that way. Pretty sure. There are some coins up through here. Alright. Spooky jump. But we made it. Now we're gonna head to the maze. And there should be enough coins in the maze uh, if you're good at wall jumping. That's what makes or breaks this route. In fact, it's not a bad idea to, to get all these coins in like every level, like every star. Let's see. I need 21 coins. Might not including the red coins now, because there's a bunch of blue coins to the top. Let me just look around, see if it's at all possible or uh, practical. Thinking about it, it should be, should be terribly hard. We've got some ideas. Let's head to the ship. There's a few coins in the ship. There might be 20. Actually, all I need, all I need are 19 now. Now there's a couple of bob bombs and a ring of coins. that my carpet was just high enough I didn't get pushed off. That's good. So back up across here.
are not getting that wall jump actually will make a future star harder. Actually, I can just do the wall jump. <laughs> the switch was the hard part. Okay, four more coins. We see. And you get on this plank. There we go. Now, where is a safe place to jump to? Um. There's, there's a safe one. So I should be able to long jump on this one, go to that one, ignore those coins. There are safer ones elsewhere. Actually, I'm not gonna get this die from that from those coins. All right, we're good. Now back to the maze. There's an alternate route. Good to know. And there are other coins. There we go. There are other coins, so I guess the blues aren't terribly necessary, actually. Good to know. But the cannon of Obama is up here. We'll need him later, so definitely talk to him now while you're in the area. So down here. Time to start the coins. Actually, let's just head out. Kind of. Kind of out, I guess. Coin here. Coin there. There we go, some sideways side flips. That works. Oh, the stars above me. I wasn't counting my coins. Come on, tiny amount of height. Nope. Gotta get up there again. Got it. Here we go. Now I can get the red coin star in peace. Here we go. All right, hey. All right, I ran out of recording space. I think we're good though. Let's head back in. Now we gotta get swinging in the breeze. These next couple are actually really good. I like them. Because they all involve this obstacle course over here. Which we've already kind of done getting the 100 coins.
Take that, Goomba. This is the final swing. Don't want to get lit on fire. And don't want to fall off the edge like an idiot. And there we go. Star number 117. Yeah, Mario really hits his face on the wall every time he jumps out of the, these. Now time to do the same thing, but different. Gotta head back through the obstacle course again. I went too far. I want to head over this way. Because these are the tricky triangles. Got a really quick timer. You gotta move fast. What is this, a Sonic game? Now for the final star of... Rainbow Ride, somewhere over the rainbow. You remember the first star? We gotta do that again. I guess while we're riding this carpet, I can give my thoughts on something I want to say. Uh, basically, this course has lots of boring parts. Just these carpet rides. And I've wondered, what if they would have made this course like a big version of that secret star we did at the very beginning with cannons and wing caps everywhere so or maybe even just or maybe even just wing caps at the high places like on the boat in the house just so if you get to get to the top of the stage you could just fly to one of these other islands because that's really all it is it's like four sections connected by rainbows that we got the obstacle course section, the maze, the big house, and the ship. If we, could, if we could fly to each of those, I think that'd make this a lot more fun, but it is what it is. We gotta head to the back of the boat. Get rid of Lakitu for safety. Now don't hurt me, Spiny. Thank you. Now we gotta get to that island so aim this about there then point it up a bit there we go don't get thrown off but there we go the final star of the final course We've just got one thing left to do. Let's take out Bowser. So this star door usually requires 70 stars, which if you don't have 70 stars, you can still go through, but the stairs you go up are endless. So now that we've got 70 stars, we can just head right on up. And visit Bowser in the sky. This is right. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. So if we steal Bowser's red coins, we'll get 
our actual final star. Now most of the coins are on the way. Uh, they're not as hidden as Bowser in the Fire Sea, for instance. But you do have to jump down here. There's just one right off the edge. And that's it. For some reason, I always, I always think there's one back here, but no. It's just a life. And you can skip a good chunk of the level by just doing a backflip. Now, we've got all, a bunch of steep slopes that Mario can run up for some reason. Jump all the way down here, because we can. Now, we've got to wait for the platform. Get that red coin, probably, pro probably the hardest one to get. There's six coins, and we're almost done. Ooh, all right. I always like looking at these HD textures. You can see the Koopa shells and Goombas on the wall. I thought I was gonna grab the. Oh, I'm back down here, apparently. There we go. Grab the pole that time. Get some speed and some timing. There we go. Uh, we've got this windy section. The final coin being right under here. And the final star being right up there. And there we go. All 120 stars. You bet I want to save. Mario, you again. Well, that's just fine. I've been looking forward to something to fry with my fire breath. Your star power is useless against me. Your friends are all trapped within the walls. And you'll never see the princess again. For ha ha ha. Oh yeah, Bowser. You'll fall from this, for the same tricks as last time. Come over here, Bowser. Got one more bomb. Another bomb for you. He has toughened himself before, uh, since last time, so... He takes three hits. But he's not gonna make the last one easy. He breaks the he breaks the floor in the star shape, so you can't easily throw him into the other bombs. But just some well timed throws, and you got him. No. You've really beaten me this time, Mario. I can't stand losing to you. My troops, worthless. They've turned over all the power stars. What? There are 120 in all? Amazing. There are some in the castle that I missed? Now I see peace returning to the world. Ooh, I really hate that. I can't watch. I'm out of here. Just you wait until next time. Until then, keep that L stick for smoking. Brahaha. Well, there we go. Star number 121. Nah, it, it doesn't count.
Princess Stars is restored to the castle. And it's all thanks to you. Thank you, Mario. We have to do something special for you. Here we go! Listen, everybody. Let's bake a delicious cake. For Mario. That does it. We've completed Super Mario 64. I love playing this game every time I play it. I always find out something new too, or something new I can do at least. But this is one of my favorite credit sequences ever. I love the music, going through all the courses you've been through before. This is kind of my favorite part of the song, so I'm being quiet so I can listen to it, but there are some things you can do after 120 stars. But I think I'll save those for their own video, an epilogue of sorts bonus video so let's just watch these credits oh hey look uh tiktok tiktok clock stayed stopped it remembers that that's neat But my next uh, series is gonna be something, something big. I have been working. I've been planning since. I don't even. I don't remember since when. But I hope, I hope to see you then. And until then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for playing my game.